We got the Giants on Sunday. Could this be the year where the Giants sweep us? The biggest question asked in the offseason. We have Chris, the entertainer, Mr. PC, bad dog, Mr. PC now. Talking shit all offseason, saying this was going to be the year that they were going to sweep us. And I got to be honest with you guys. There's no fucking chance that happens. None. I think if anything, we could sweep you. I don't even think our team's that good, but we're playing like it. <laughs> the All right. I don't even know how I could be this serious. I don't even know how I could be that serious. After all the shit you guys talked in the offseason about the vengeance game about Nate Sudfeld coming in, you guys missing the playoffs after being a dreadful 6-10 and team, I don't know how you guys could look into the camera and say that you guys are going to beat us not only once but twice in the whole in the offseason after acquiring a B-level wide receiver in Kenny Galladay. That really hasn't showed out. I'm not going to blame the quarterback because, let's be honest, the quarterback is what he is. He's not very good. But Daniel Jones is good enough to get the ball to Kenny Galladay, and Kenny Galladay is just butt-ass. Kenny Galladay's butt-ass. And you guys are paying this guy $70 million over four years or something like that? Butt-ass. Horrible. And Joe Judge, horrible. Listen, I understand there's a pride thing when it comes to keeping people around that have illnesses like cancer and stuff like that. But Joe, David Gettleman, he might be worse than Reese. And I think Reese actually did you guys some favors. <laughs> I don't even know how to talk shit. Like, this is, this is just incredible. This is incredible because my most hated rival, the New York Giants, they're just, they're not, they have no future. Like, Eagles fans, let's be honest for a second. We still don't really know what Jalen Hurts is um, when it comes to the lack of arm and stuff like that, but at least he fits in the system. But, uh, but let's be honest with each other. How could we not be happy about the Giants' failures? You know, you could say what you want about the Cowboys. The Cowboys still aren't, still aren't going to win a Super Bowl. We'll be all right in that department. But the Giants, they have no future. They have absolutely zero future. Like, like in sight. You don't know who they're going to get to replace Gettleman because Gettleman's probably going to go out the door this year. Let's be honest. You don't know who they're going to have as a coach. They're not going to bring in a veteran quarterback because no veteran quarterback wants to go there. You could kiss Russell Wilson goodbye. I mean, you could try to get Deshaun Watson, but that's going to cost you two first-round picks. I, I don't, and, and Deshaun Watson's not going to fix your team overnight. Like, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. Because the whole time growing up in the formerly known as TTC, I, I was talked shit to every single year, and the Eagles just ass blasted this team and it's just not gonna end it's not gonna end the eagles i don't know if they're gonna say you know <laughs> right now it looks like we're gonna sweep them without a problem i I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you and the thing is our team really isn't that good you know our team has played well the last five six games but when we go up against top tier competition you know alvin Kamara was out for the saints this week not like it really mattered because we played a really good game but when we go up against top-tier competition, we're probably going to be an average football team again. But at least, at least, we're on the up. We're showing signs of improvement. We're showing signs of life. We're showing signs of a future. You guys aren't showing dick. You're not showing anything. And I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. No end in sight for you bitches. And you guys deserve every second of it. Fucking asshole bitches. And no. I'm not going Sunday. I'm going to the Jets game the next week. Because guess what? I've paid too much money over the years. Seeing the Eagles just demolish the Giants. It's time for me to watch the new team in, uh, coming up in New York. The Jets. Because they give us more competition. Sucks to suck. It's up to you. New York. New York. 
come out. Lovely.